in the eerie woods near the village of Zuidus Marke. On a road barely touched by sunlight, there lies a place known as the Devil's Hollow, where even the bravest horses balk and the air chills with unspoken fears. This spot, notorious amongst the locals, has been the setting for countless tales of supernatural encounters, but none so chilling as the story of Klein Jansken, a coal burner known for his fearlessness and cunning, a man who dared to challenge the devil himself. Welcome to this week's episode. Glanebeekweg, a path shrouded in ancient trees. Travelers have long whispered about the unease their horses display, refusing to pass without a fight. Legend says, for eyes unseen during the day, but clear to a horse's sight. No horse willingly walks this path by itself. This eerie phenomenon set the stage for a confrontation that would be etched into the annals of the local folklore. Kike Berend, a known seer, once took it upon himself to cleanse the road, giving the devil a beating that would become legendary. Yet, when Kike stopped working at the house Holterhof estate and left the area, it wasn't long before Heintje Pick, another name for the devil, returned seeking a stronger opponent. And as the saying goes, beware what you wish for. Klein Jansken, a stout and clever coal burner, renowned not only for his strength but also for his sharp mind. He became a familiar figure in the long winter evenings, sharing his tales of the day's work and the encounter with Supernatural. One evening, as dusk crept over the village and shadows danced along the Glanerbekerweg, Jansken encountered the devil as he was returning home from his coal-burning work. Armed with nothing but his club and a fierce reputation, Jansken faced the devil, who appeared every night to challenge him. The battles were fierce, and the woods echoed with the sounds of their clashes. One night, driven to the edge of his wits and strength, Jansken pursued the devil to the devil's hollow itself. In a confrontation filled with fury, Jansken managed to corner the devil near the infamous coke, a deep, water-filled pit from which no one ever had returned. With a series of powerful strikes, he drove the devil back, each blow echoing through the forest like a drumbeat of war. In a final act of desperation, Jansken struck a blow so severe that the devil, beaten and battered, fell into the coke, seemingly defeated. As the devil lay floating, apparently lifeless on the water, he made Jansken a solemn vow. He promised peace and swore never to bother the brave coal burner again. A promise made in the face of defeat and witnessed by the moonlit shadows of the twisted trees. Since that night, the road to Zuidus Marke has been quiet and the devil's hollow has seen fewer shadows lurking in its depth. But the question remains, was the devil truly defeated, or does he bide his time, waiting for a new challenger on the haunted path of the Glanerbekerweg? As the tale of Klein Janske and his battle with the devil is told and retold, one must wonder, what would happen if you found yourself on that shadowy road? Would you have the courage to walk the devil's hollow? Knowing what might lurk in the silence, waiting for the next brave soul to challenge the darkness? Or would you be the next to face the devil's wrath on a lonely moonlit night? Thanks for watching. If you like these stories, leave a like. Consider showing your support by subscribing to the channel. 
ring that bell to keep updated on future videos. Leave a comment and tell us your favorite part to seize the opportunity 